This is Twit. I've been reading some things about the American Legion Radio Club, and I read the other day that they now exceed 2,000 members, and I didn't know about it. Where have I been? Wow. My father was uh, in World War II. He was in the Navy and very active in the American Legion. So I contacted the guys in Indianapolis, and wow, I, uh, I was really, really stunned by what a great setup they have. So we invited them here tonight, and we'll learn a little bit more about the American Radio Club, the American Legion Radio Club, and it's in Indianapolis. And with us tonight is Marty Justice. Marty, how are you? It's glad to see you, glad to have you with us. Doing fine, Bob. Thank you for the invitation. We're tickled to be here, believe me. Well, that what a great station you have. Um, we've got a few pictures, and uh, we'll we'll be talking over them as we go. Uh, uh, Brian's going to start with them, and of course, there's the great logo. What what a what a nice wall that is, and uh, I really like that badge you have. That's kind of neat. And uh, I, this is a, a, a memorial station to John Dennis. Tell us a little bit about John Dennis, uh, Marty. Sure. Sure, be happy to, Bob. Um, you know, when we first started with the uh, Amateur Radio Club, we, we were pretty uh, pretty tight for money. Uh, so we put out an uh, and, and I guess I want to say an invitation, or a request from any, uh, any of the members of our uh, club to donate any uh, old equipment they might have around. Well, that kind of expanded. And what happened here when John Dennis passed away, uh, his wife uh, got in touch with us, asked us if we would take his, his equipment and use it uh, for the betterment of the club and, and the work of the American Legion. And we gratefully appreciate that. And so uh, to kind of remember him, we uh, set a position uh, with that plaque here in our small uh, radio room to honor him and uh, memorialize him. Well, that is really super. And uh, you have this club uh, in a really great building. Uh, and this is in downtown Indianapolis. Tell us a little bit about this building. Sure, that's the American Legion's national headquarters. That's one of three uh, that the American Legion operates. One's uh, just northeast of, uh, of us, and another one in Washington, D.C., where our lobbyists work from. But the one we're looking at now is the national headquarters. It houses about 100 uh, employees here and uh, takes care of most of the programs of the American Legion. Uh, youth-oriented programs, uh, uh, that like that, and certainly the American Legion Amateur Radio Club. We're down here in the basement uh, of the building you're looking at, uh, about 75 feet above us on the uh, on the penthouse uh, of this building are our antenna. Well, it sure is a nice place to have a, a station, that's for sure. And look at this station. And uh, you, you, as I understand, have uh, two setups. You've got this one. And then there's the other one on the other side. These are both uh, HF stations? Actually, we, we run two HF uh, positions here. We run a Kenwood uh, TS uh, 850 and a 450, uh, and they alter we use them alternately. Uh, we also have uh, UHF, VHF, and IRLP operations uh, from the side that you're looking at right now. Well, this has to be a six-meter station. I see the grid square up there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, let's uh, check out the next one here, Brian. And you guys are hard at it. It looks like we're uh, logging on the uh, on the left and talking on the right. Tell me about the two operators and what what's going on there. Sure. The gentleman in the front's Jerry, one of the volunteers that comes in here. Uh, the gentleman in the background is myself. Uh, I'm working the uh, microphone at that uh, at that particular time, and that was during our uh, uh, special event on Veterans Day uh, last November 11. Uh, we had a record turnout, I guess I want to say, but we had more than 350 operators uh, be in touch with us here at National Headquarters. Busy, busy <laughs> day for us. We only operate for about seven hours on that day, but uh, we had four or five of us in here alternating, rotating through the positions, uh, working uh, both HF, uh, uh, working the uh, UHF, VHF, and the IRLP, and Simplex. How many operators did you say? <laughs> we have five of them kind of rotate through here, two or three at a time. What you're seeing there now is the gentleman at the uh, uh, UHF, VHF uh, uh, position. Uh, the other two of us, one of which I was, was at the HF position. But uh, we rotate, uh, kind of spread the work out a little bit. We usually have one man on the yeah. microphone, the other man logging. Oh, that's great. Looks like a little CW work here. And, and this is the penthouse up, uh, I guess, where the antennas are, correct? 
It is. Actually, you're looking north out of Indianapolis. We're uh, located at 700 North Penn, just uh, north of the center of the city. Uh, we have um, a vertical there uh, that runs our UHF, or is attached to our UHF VHF operations, uh, diamond vertical. Uh, we have a uh, uh, multi-band uh, uh, dipole uh, that we run for our HF, and they're sitting up, let's sit about 70 feet, uh, completely unobstructed to our west, pretty much to the north and the east. The south, though, we have some buildings, but uh, we do get out particularly well out west. Well, that's really great, and I, I, I really... Uh really appreciate seeing it and hopefully uh, maybe on our way over to Dayton we can uh, stop by and see you guys it's a it's a real treat to be able to uh, let everybody know about K9 TAL do you have any kind of uh, net or schedule that we can all uh, try to find yes indeed uh, best thing to do would be to go on the American Legion's website uh, where there's a uh, Talark uh, page and that's at legion.org slash ham radio uh, there's information there about nets, and we operate nets uh, uh, once a month, uh, UHF, VHF, uh, IRLP, and even Echolink uh, on second Saturdays. And uh, we do uh, uh, HF 40-meter uh, uh, net on Sundays. But information is on the website itself, which you're looking at right now. Again, legion.org slash ham radio. Uh, any of our members are invited, uh, and I would extend this invitation to you as well, to come in and operate our station anytime you're in town. Uh, as long as you're here between the hours of 8 and 4.30, Monday through Friday. <laughs> well, there, there's one other thing I want to ask you about. And I, <clears throat> when Don was talking about it uh, in the pre-net time here, um, a lot of us, our fathers, were, were in the war and they're passed on. But you have a, a Sons of, Le of the Legions. Tell us a little bit about that, how some of us could join uh, the sure. American Legion and have some real meaning to what our fathers did back in the early days and try to continue that. Well, let me say first, uh, Bob, that uh, those who are members of the Amateur Radio Club uh, get that, that uh, their eligibility through uh, membership in the American Legion, in the American Legion Auxiliary, uh, as well as the Sons of the American Legion. So we welcome each and every one of you to, uh, to be party to this. But those who had fathers or mothers uh, who served uh, in wartime, may have passed away, or may be serving right now, are eligible to join the Sons of the American Legion. Uh, the American Legion itself, the eligibility for that is limited to wartime veterans, uh, those who have been in the service or were in the service uh, during those periods declared as, uh, as active war periods by the United States Congress. And right now, the uh, membership eligibility for the American Legion has been open since uh, Desert Shield, Desert Storm back in 1990-91. So anyone who's in the military now can join. Anyone whose father is in the military now can join. And there, by the way, there is an, also an organization for young ladies under the American Legion Auxiliary. They can uh, join their eligibility under their uh, grandparents or their parents. Well, that's really great. And I personally appreciate what you guys are doing to keep it all going. And again, it, it's, it just reflects back upon what our fathers and grandfathers did for this country. And uh, we do need more of that today to, uh, uh, to, to really pay respect to those guys. So thanks a lot for, uh, for joining us and letting everybody here on Ham Nation know about the American, Radio, American Legion Radio Club. And we'll look forward to talking to each of you if we can. And, uh, and please uh, join us again sometime. We'll have you on if you have any kind of uh, special event or whatever. Let me know and we'll, we'll make that happen. So. Uh, seven to three to you and all there in Indianapolis, and uh, we appreciate your time very much, Marty. Bob, it's been our pleasure. Seventy-three to you, and just let me make this closing remark that we will have a special event operation on Saturday, March fourteenth. It's the celebration of the American Legion's birthday. Hope to hear from you then. Seventy-three to each and every one of you. <laughs>